How was it then? Was it a 16-year-old boy? Yeah. Get to, how was that? I mean, go yeah. to court and stuff and oh, the, the memories and the pain mad, then. Mad, 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 bruv. Like, going in and you learn so much about the justice system. It's bullshit, bro. It, it don't look after. People that have been through stuff, as soon as I say that, they know what I'm talking about. Because I was with other people and learned about other cases and they were suffering in the same. And there's many little things. It's almost like they look out more and care for the perpetrator and what is happening to him and how he feels than, than the people that have been impacted by his vicious, heartless actions. Um, and, you know, they cared about where he's sitting. You know, don't put him to sit there. Let's put him over there because it must be really terrible for him to experience this, to put him in the docks. So let's put him... Like, bullshit, bro. You stepped up and done something heinous. Now, I know your background is messed up, but let's still deal with consequences to what you've done. We can focus on helping you once you start facing the consequences of what you've done. Now we can bring healing to the process. But you've got to step up to it, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. if, if I go and, well, and outside my marriage, I want to be banging girls and someone gets pregnant, then I've got to deal with all the consequences of that. Now I've got to be having my missus on me and now I've got to be dealing with another child from another... It's all a mess, but we've got to deal with it. You've got to accept what you've done, who you are, embrace it. How can you change it? What can you learn from it? How can you grow from it? And unless people face their consequences first, they are not going to be able to go on to the next stage of growth, bro. Yeah. Have you ever reached out to that kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you, yeah is there yeah, any yeah. replies or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reached out. Uh, I reached out through Cats 22, the charity. They had their restorative justice arm visiting me, visiting him. Uh, he agreed. They gave him excerpts from the pet the book. Let him read. Um, he was shocked that I wanted to to see him, um, and 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 sit down in the same room with him and talk to him. And uh, but he agreed. Um, he, he's messed up himself. This you. It's like he's stuck in time. Stuck in a time warp of what's happened to him with Kyan. And he also seemed like he hasn't. Like he's got some sort of behavioural or psychological issues with the way he uh, interacts with you. It's like he, like he don't quite get it. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I, I needed to be able to see him. Like, you can't stick a knife in my boy's chest, take him away from the family, and I don't get to sit and have a conversation. If another kid punched my youth in his face and, and they had a ruck and they, he hurt him and put him in hospital, you know, come to the hospital and see what you've done. See, you know, be sorry if that's how you feel. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to meet the family. You're going to have to, you know, step up to what you've done. And I'm saying to him, he hasn't had the opportunity to do that. I want to see you. I want to see you, bro. Explain to me what was going on in your heart and in your mind. Explain to me the lead up to that. Why you felt it right to be able to do that. Yeah, and what's going on since then? What's happening with you? What, what process are you going through? What's going through here? What's going on in here, bro? You know, I want to have that conversation with him. And, and I have the right to be able to want to do that. And the system should be able to make that available to me to be able to talk to the perpetrator who impacted my family so badly. How was that moment then? I didn't get it. Oh, did it not happen? No, the, the system put did a stop to, to it. He to do it, that kid? Bro, he was up for it. He that would, do you think that would have helped you not get closure, but understanding why? I just want to. I just want to understand a little bit more from his point of view. Yeah, it's not gonna not gonna give me any closure. Mm -hmm. the, the them sentencing him to life and telling me he has to do thirteen years before he's eligible for for, um, parole. parole didn't give me closure. Mm -hmm. It was just like, okay, the guy got thirteen years. Was I happy about the thirteen years? Of course not. My son's fifteen. He didn't even get one year each for my son's life. That's a violation, bro. Yeah. So the boy's out soon. Yeah. Well, he's supposed to be. But um, they've been contacting me, talking to me about it, asking me to write in statements for the parole board, whatnot. Um, but I'm still saying, bro, I need to see this guy. They pulled the plug. The system pulled the plug on it in the last week. 
I went back and forth for a year. Do you think that was easy for me? Talking to these people, listening to them, going through emotions and all of that. Were you able to control your emotions sitting across with them? Listen, bruv, I've been able to control my emotions through up to date. I've been 15 years in. It'll be a different ball game meeting him, but let's see how the ball game works. Yeah. And if I can't control my emotions, there'll be people in there to control me. Mm -hmm. So what? So yeah. what? Let's do it, man.